Sammy Rhymes. Triple threat. This one's about Islamophobia. British national, but I don't feel like I belong to this nation. From here, but threatened with deportation. Sideline at airports for cautionary conversations and made to endure unwarranted searches and interrogations. Like I was a criminal under investigation. No real explanation for being stopped other than the fact that I'm suspect. Cause I've got a Muslim name cover up and travel a lot. Yeah, I've been stopped and searched, but alhamdulillah, I never jailed. Never had to pay ransom and never had to pay bail But I know the system has failed Many innocent males and females in different parts of the world Some are being captured and held against their will In makeshift cells and in solitary confinement Left to dwell, isolated and tortured with no right to well No right to trial and no right to bail They mostly prey on devout males and target covered up females Place us in remote rooms where they assault and strip search girls Forcing us hijabis to uncover our pearls all for personal satisfaction and humiliation We all know it's nothing but religious discrimination They say association with terrorism is the supposed allegation And for that they use enhanced techniques to falsely acquire information Waterboarding, hooding, food and sleep deprivation Forced labour, abortion and sterilisation All forms of control and enslavement When they face strong they try to shake them Cause mental deterioration and break them Get their inspiration from CIA operations and their hate from Islamophobic ideations being spread by the media and leaders of right wing organizations who feel threatened by the ever increasing number of Muslims in the population. It's all good when we're winning trophies and medals for the nation, but on all other occasions, we are terrorists, immigration, and Muslim invasion. Islamophobia is present in many nations. The operation in place is annihilation and eradication of the faith. We got leaders replicating legislation that's been put in place by their allies. Just so they can protect their economic ties They don't bother hounding nuns, monks or rabbis But if you're Muslim then it's bye bye There's no concern for our right There are many religions but my biggest frustration is that Islam is always looked at in isolation and I get that there's separation between the state and religion and secular nations but I get confused cause religious occasions like Christmas and Easter are openly celebrated in these very same nations. So much hypocrisy in their policies and legislations and we've seen countries like France introduce regulations in attempt to mask the nation yet find those who cover up their faces to fulfil what they feel is a religious obligation. Double standards, yeah, it's blatant They're making a statement And now they brought the consent of a child Into the equation Passing the bill, that's everything But anti-separation Blocking integration And jeopardising their right to an education In the long run Making it hard for more girls to secure an occupation But it's not just the Western nations We have globally become subjects of political indoctrination They say our beliefs are backwards And require obliteration In China they call it re-education in Palestine, it's an occupation And in India they say there's an issue with overpopulation Islamophobia is present in many nations The operation in place is annihilation and eradication of the faith we got leaders replicating legislation That's been put in place by their allies Just so they can protect their economic ties They don't bother hounding nuns, monks or rabbis But if you're Muslim then it's bye-bye There's no concern for our rights some have lost lives and some have lost sight Moving like lost causes in a lost fight Once taken in by camps and black sites We are dehumanised and stripped of all rights Muslims are problematic statistics They don't care if we live or we die 